y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Pandora video. So today we are going over my mini design for Star Wars. Do have a few pieces on my larger uh, leather bracelet where I have a lot of my Harry Potter, Star Wars, just different entertainment movies that I like. But I have this tiny open mangle that has the sun and moon on it. And I thought it was perfect for a mini Star Wars design. So I have most of the charms right around that open bangle so that when I wear it, they sit on the top of my wrist, which I love. They stack beautifully with that larger bracelet. Um, and then I do have one kind of hidden wiki in the bottom of my wrist that may go to a different spot eventually. If I ever get any other Star Wars pieces, he may go into the front. If not, He's cute when I turn my arm over. Who cares? I like that little hidden surprise every now and then. So I'm going to bring y'all in and show you a closer look at my open mangle. Um, sometimes I love these mini designs for what they are, which is great stackable pieces. I can't wear two, three, four full bracelets if I want to wear a whole stack but I can wear a full bracelet and an open bracelet and a sliding bracelet and a stack with different pieces on it. So something like an open mangle with three to six pieces on it is great for stacking. And I love these mini designs for that reason. They're also just super simple and easy. If I don't want to wear a stack, if I just want to grab one bracelet, pop it on and go, I don't have time to grab a whole bunch of things. So, you know, there's our time and a place for everything. For today, we're gonna look at Star Wars. All right, so this is a small mini design. I love that since it is an open bangle, it's easy to put on. You can actually see all the charms. They're right side up when you place it on. And when I wear it stacked with another bracelet, it highlights whatever that central charm is. Let's take a closer look. So since this is a mini design, I only have six main charms and then my hidden wiki friend. So starting on the left, we have Baby Groot, Baby Groot, Baby Yoda, or Grogu, of course he's not actually Baby Yoda, but like we still call him that. <laughs> and he's in his little Orby hovering thing. I, I don't actually know what this is. It's like a little baby seat. Um, and you can see the hallmarks on the side there. And I love that the sun and moon ends of this bracelet to me, just scream Star Wars. <laughs> then we have Princess Leia, who of course is an icon. I love the blue. I love the blue stars on the bale here. But even more than that, blue enamel with the death ray. I love the back and it says, don't mess with this princess because she is a princess, but y'all, she is. Yeah, no, she's not general for nothing. I love her. And she's got her iconic uh, buns, her side buns. That is definitely a hairstyle. Then we have BB-8 and his little head goes all the way around, which is kind of insane. Unfortunately, it does make him top heavy. So he tends to spend most of his time upside down, but that's okay. We love him anyways. You can see his design is a full 360. You've got the LFL on the bottom for Lucas Films, which is what Star Wars is, of course. And that is the whole left side. So when these guys are right side up, that's what it looks like. They're very rarely right side up. And on the other side, we have the Death Star. Now this is a clip, you can see where it opens. Um, but since I don't really need clips on this one, and this clip is Andorra LFL, so detailed, 
Um, I decided to just use it as a charm, especially because I picked it up when my store went out of business, uh, my closest Pandora store to me, and they only had one. If I could have gotten two, I may have put one on either side and put the Wookiee up here. But as it is, I would rather use this as a charm since it is just a mini design. He speaks for himself. I mean, just look at all that engraving. Then we have everyone's favorite droid, R2-D2, similar to the BB-8. His arms actually do go all the way back. So he can look like he's skating. And I loved that his bail has the same blue stars as Princess Leia. So they match. That isn't a, you know, necessary feature. But I do appreciate it. He has just as much detailing on his back. His head does spin around, but I don't think full 360. I think like maybe halfway, but he is pretty mobile little guy. And then we have Leia and Han, the OG OTP. I love them. It says, I love you on top. And I know on the bottom, I mean, honestly, when they say like the banter is bantering in today's book world, Han and Leia are the, the original bantering king and queen. And then my Wookiee. Now I have a little Yorkie named Little Bit, and I think she looks like a little Wookiee. This little Wookiee is not nearly as cute as her. And I don't think he's nearly as cute as the look he's in the film. But again, I got him when my store went out of business. It was, he was like $5. Why wouldn't you get him for $5? There's the Hallmarks, Pandora, LFL. And so I just tossed him on the bottom here. If I ever get any more of the Star Wars collection, he could go on either side or he could go on my bigger bracelet that I stack this with. I do have like R2-D2 on that bracelet. So Star Wars does fit. I also have uh, the Millennium Falcon on that bracelet. So there you go. It's a very quick uh, video for this one because there's not too much on it. But it is one of my favorites to wear. Open bangles are 100% my favorite bracelets unless it is a fully uh, completed snake chain because they're just so easy to pop on. I hope you liked this video. If you did, comment down below how you would have styled it. And if you've ever styled an open bangle like this with the charms on either side of the ends, as opposed to the center where you are supposed to put your charms. Bye, y'all.